he's a great example of someone who is consumed by his heart. There's a lot happening, I like to think, like in the back of his head, like obviously his, his connections to his family and what just happened. It's a character that's been a woman her entire life, finally getting to experience the freedom that comes with masculinity. I, I think she, behind all of this badassery, has this soft side that I'm not sure that a lot of people realize. <laughs> what, what do you think will be the difference out of this production of Twelfth Night? It's the rowdiest Twelfth Night you'll ever see. <laughs> it's all of the energy of an Old West campfire and also all of the gayness brought to the front of an Old West campfire. Oh, okay. Oh, what, <laughs> <laughs> right. been asked right. what do you love about Twelfth Night? Yeah, what do you love about Twelfth Night? <laughs> I like it because it's a romp. <laughs> it's just so much fun because it's such a universal story, and like when it's happening to you, it sucks. No, I just love it because it's a bunch of emotional disaster bisexuals trying to find their way in the world, and it's just, it's always comedy when they get that many gays together. <laughs> but when you watch it happen to someone else, it's not so bad that you can laugh at it. Gender, identity, freeing yourself from the social norms. Mm -hmm. It's all of that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Wrapped up in, you know, a little bit of sugar makes the medicine go down. <laughs> that's it's Shakespeare's the gay yeah. Sesame Street. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the it. subtitle on the poster. And that's how we justify the puppets in the show. Exactly. Um, I did not agree to the puppets. I have to renegotiate my contract. <laughs> You know, you <laughs> and then you know it's gonna have a happy ending. Spoiler, it has a happy ending. And so you can just have a great time the whole time. I love 12 Night. So you like it because it's a comedy. Yeah. <laughs> you can't tell it's queer. We're all sitting wildly. That's how you know. So, how do you think this production differs from other productions of 12th Night people may have seen? Um, what I think is exciting about this production is that we are very openly discussing the queer experiences of the character in a way that no production I've ever worked on has decided to do. You know, usually Antonio gets to be gay, and that's it. Um, <laughs> this time he's straight. He's the only straight guy in the show. <laughs> I love that for us. Personally. Now, everyone else is gay. Yes. I, 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 but, and I think explicitly so in, in a way that the text supports. Multiple sexualities, gender expressions, ethnicities, peace, <laughs> size, Keith. Hell yeah. size, size. Oh, yeah, well, yep. Yeah. Stand a chunky queen. <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah. Yes, we do. A lot of time in this show, and in a lot of Shakespeare's when it's bigger budget stuff, they they do play with queerness, but at the end of the day, it's a punchline. Um, and like the show is is hilarious and funny and some of the gayness is what adds to the comedy but in this production it, it's not the punchline the punchline mm -hmm. isn't that orsino has bi panic and then gets over it like we're really good embracing each of these characters like journey with their sexuality and honoring that and still letting the rest of the play be funny which is i think a huge difference you guys said it really good <laughs> <laughs> okay.